Hello everybody, I'm Rick Nedmark and I'm going to take over from here. The reason you see me like this is that I've been invited to an 80s party and I take that kind of stuff seriously. But don't worry, this is going to grow back very quickly and you're going to have my old self back. But while we are at it, let's talk about shame. If you want to hear something good about shame, watch Brenna Brown's TED Talks about it. And she makes a very interesting distinction. She talks about shame versus guilt. Guilt being the feeling I have done something wrong and shame being the feeling I am wrong. And her message is that while guilt can be helpful and necessary, shame is toxic. And so that's why today I want to talk to you about how I deal with those feelings. It's a cloudy day today in Zurich. Take a look at that building. So I think that you can live two kinds of life. One is where you follow the tracks that have been laid in front of you by society. And you do what people tell you. And there's not much risk to feel shame if you follow that path. Unless society as a whole makes a huge mistake. But then there is the other option which is to go out into the wild and do something new, unique, something that no one told you to do. I'll tell you a little secret about me. I feel ashamed of almost every video I put out there and I tend not to want to watch them again. But I've known for a while that life is not about avoiding certain feelings, it's about acting despite them. It's not about avoiding suffering, it's about becoming the person that they can take on as much suffering as possible in the name of something better. So last week I published a video about how to stay in contact with friends. And I feel pretty bad about it because if you look at it, I'm quite awkward. I'm Nick Redmark, your efficiency coach. If you're looking for rational self-help advice, subscribe. If you don't know the background, you might think it's creepy, like this guy who is like staring at you in a serious way trying to give you advice but actually looking creepy. This situation where you have like two lights in front of you in your face and the camera, the big one, it keeps making me nervous and so I have two choices. Either I stop doing it or I keep doing it. And that's why I wanted to talk to you about shame because I kind of feel ashamed about it. My temptation was to just remove it. Just like I was tempted not to show you my beardless self but that's not what life is about right again Brené Brown says that you should not allow yourself to be judged by those who are not inside of the arena so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to repost the same video I did last week I'm going to try to make it a little better I noticed the green screen technology is not really working it creates a green shadow next to my face so that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to buy a uh, white sheet of paper and create a white screen instead of a green screen. I'm going to try to make myself a bit more relaxed. Still don't know how I'm going to do that, but um, it's clear that the fact that I'm not smiling while I do those videos makes them kind of creepy. And so I'm going to work on that. If I keep going for the next half a year, going to publish about 50 videos right and that's going to be one among 50 and what this means is the skill to keep going is much more important patience people here it is roll of white paper my white screen I just realized I keep showing you very ugly sides of Zurich which is actually a pretty a quite pretty city so I'm going to show you nicer areas of Zurich soon, I promise. This is the new setup, so here you can see my camera, a couple of lights, and then here a smaller light, and this is the chair, my laptop, and this is what it looks like. What's up everybody, be ready to see the next video with a new setup.